hi guys good afternoon good morning good night good day wherever you are in the world oh glory be to god welcome to my ministry impossible become possible through jesus christ of nazareth welcome guys welcome one more time welcome now my topic and my verse for for today is a king or a prophet does not get honor in his own country I'm here to tell someone that a king or a prophet does not get honor in his own country. And Jesus is a perfect example that said, even when Jesus were, were, um, was out there healing, oh glory be to God, and doing the great stuff, miracle taking place, Oh, glory be to God. But yet still, they address him as a carpenter. They want to know who is this man. And they say all manner of things about him. And even though he went on the cross and died for, died for a sin, they still never accept him. They say they want Barabbas. Kill Jesus and give them Barabbas. No. It's going to come in a time in your life where you're going to do some stuff. God going to use you to do some stuff. Is, is, is your anointed going to break yoke? You're going to do some stuff. God going to, God going to operate inside of you for, for you to pray for a person. person going to God, um, God heal immediately. Sickness, dry up. Things going to occur. Things going to happen just like that. But you have to bear in mind that it's not everyone around you can, I, I'm going to accept you especially when they know where you're coming from and you make a 360 turn around in your life and sometimes sometimes who you expect to cheer you they will not and a lot of time per, um, person love when you're at a level where they can take this as disadvantage of you but the moment that you make a change in your life and a step and do stuff in your life, a change, a way that going to please God, person will not honor you. So don't watch your family that's rising up against you. Don't watch the, the, the friend that's going to rise up against you. I will not share with you. God have a place to send you. God have a set place to send you. It is not your time. Per yes, person going to say, well, if you can, if you can pray for person and this up, um, healing um, take place and you can do this, you can prophesy and things happening. Why, why person out there, you're not big out there in the world? Why it is it you, you are in a corner? Why it is no one is talking about you? It is not your time. God is just training you just as David. David was there doing his stuff, tearing up bears and lions. But it wasn't David's time to become king. It wasn't David's um, time to... to, 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 to um, kill Goliath and to become king so God have a set time don't look don't look for validation from men do not look validation from man if you put your mind and yourself to wait on someone a human being to validate you especially when they know your past you will not get get it they will always have your path in front. They will never see the good that you are doing and your future and the present. You have some person, they will always at your path. They will not see what you are doing now and the changes that you are doing and the step that you take. They will never pass that. So I'm here to tell someone, do not look for validation from your family. 
if they don't want to accept you, go on. If they want to talk all, um, all different type of stuff about you, saying that you can, you say that you can do this and do that, but yet still, no one know about you. You are in a corner by yourself. Your group is not uh, your, your group is not large. Your view is not large. You don't care what person want to see. Sometimes you meet at a place, and they don't uh, they, they don't recognize you. But the moment that you move you, you remove from that place and enter into a different city and a different area, those person welcome you with an open arms. And this is what the Bible is speaking about. In John, in John 7, I have some scripture what I want to relate to you. So don't fret yourself on a person because a king or a prophet does not get honor in his own country. And always remember this. When God started to elevate, especially in our family, most of the time, your family will be your greatest opposer. Some, um, some family be the greatest opposer that try to, to, to oppress you and try to fight against you. And there's a next thing they have some you have um, family that is out there and friend. They will not help to push you or encourage you in anything that you are doing. But the moment that God elevates you and put you out there and showcase that is a time you, you will see them rise up like when you step in ants nest and started to bring you down look now they weren't there when you were struggling and trying to to, to build but the moment you elevate this they, they want to start all manner of evil to pull you down and start to go back in your past but i'm here to tell someone that is struggling with this prophet or a king does not get honor in his own country don't look for validation from your family nor your friend nor your church member nor your church brother nor sister oh glory be to god no john 7 reads after this thing jesus walked in galilee for he did not want to walk in Judea, because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brother therefore said to him, Depart from here and go in, in Judea, that your disciple also may see the works that you are doing. For no one does anything in secret while he himself seeks to be known openly. So you see, sometimes person will say, saying that, how oh, is it God is using you, but yet still, is you alone in your, in, in your space and there is no friend around you, there is no one around you and all those stuff. And they will try to be, um, use word to throw at you so that's the reason why that's the reason why um here it said in verse 2 now the jews feet of tabernacles was at hand. his brother therefore said to him depart from here and go into judah that that your disciple also may see the work that you are doing for no one does anything in secret while he himself seeks to be known openly if you do these things show yourself to the world look here god know the set time don't try to prove yourself to person in your circle nor in your in your surrounding do not try to prove to anyone or try to justify yourself to anyone you know who you are in God and what God called you to do and what you're capable of doing. Don't try to prove yourself to no one. 
Because just remember this, a king or a prophet, and no matter what good you're going to do, once a person lock their, 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 their mind and their heart from you, and always thinking bad of you, only God himself can change that person. You cannot prove to that person for them to say that you change. Don't try to weary out yourself. Don't try to put yourself into depression for your family or your friend or your church brother or your church sister to honor you. God have a place set for you. Person are out there waiting to hear you. Person are there waiting to welcome you in their vicinity, in their area. In their atmosphere. So they were sent him. For no one does anything in secret. While, while he himself seeks to be known openly. If you do these things. Show, your, show yourself to the world. For even his brother did not believe in him. So you see what I am saying. Even his brother does not believe in him. And that's the reason why we're saying that. How is it? If you say you can do all of these things. If you say um, you miracles and healing um, take place. And person, blind eyes um, open and deaf ears open. And um, epilepsy dry up and all those stuff. Why is it? You are not out there. Why is it you are not um, out there on a platform where everyone know about, know about you because uh, God is using you? Then Jesus said to them, My time has not yet come, but your time is always, always ready. So God of his set time, do not devalue yourself to no one do not prove to anyone don't try to justify anything to no to, 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 to no one God has a set time for your life God has a place set for you oh glory be to God now in Mark 3 in Mark 3 20 to 21 and that and and mark 3 is all about the, the man with paralyzed hand then jesus went home again such a large crowd gathered that jesus and his disciple had no time to eat verse 21 said when when his family heard about it they set out to take charge of him because people were saying he is gone mad and that is it when when god started to use you in such a way we are person they 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 they, they, they have just as the not evil idea that God can use it in such a way we a person, the cripple walk, the blind can see. And you started to, to, to speak things into being. Person will say that you are getting, you are down in divination, you are losing your mind, you are in delusion. Person will bring you down. Do not try. To justify yourself. Don't waste your energy trying to prove to anyone. A king or a prophet does not get honor in his, in his own country. And sometimes when you move out of that area, and sometimes even when you go out, how, how some person can greet you, even sometimes you have to question back yourself. And wonder if it is the same person, person greeting like this with an open arm, 
but yet still your family and your friend your church brother and your church sister they look down on you they think less of you oh glory be to god now i'm going to read this last in john in john 4 verses 28 so i'm going to read john 4 28 29 39 40 and 41 to 45 and it reads then jesus then 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 the woman sorry then the woman left her water jar went back to the to the town and said to the people there there come to the people there sorry to the people there come and see the man who told me everything i have i have ever done could he be the messiah so they left the town and went to jesus so there was a there was a woman that jesus was asking now where is her husband and she said no she don't have any husband but you know that when god starts to use you in such a way sometimes persons started to quit even question the christianity and they started to go down into some deep where god not even give them any permit mission to question your christianity and to question what you are doing for him Verse 39 said, Many of the Samaritan in that town believe in Jesus because the woman had said, He told me everything I have ever done. So when the Samaritan came to him, they begged him to stay with them. And Jesus stayed there two days. Verse 41 said, Many more believe because of his message. And they said to the woman, We believe now, not because of what you said, but because we ourselves have heard him, and we know that know that he really is a savior of the world. After sending two days, after spending two days there, Jesus left and went to Galilee. For he for he himself said, had said, A prophet is not respected in his own country. When he arrived in Galilee, the people there welcomed him because they had gone to, to the Passover festival in Jerusalem and had seen everything that he had done during the, during the festival. So you have some person around you, no matter what you do, no matter what God use you to do, no matter the healing what um take place, they will not believe in you. They will not give you any respect. But the moment Jesus leave from there and went and went over, arrived in Galilee, they welcome him. So I'm here to tell someone a king or a prophet does not get honor in his own country. So don't stay there and stress out yourself. Don't stay there and put yourself in any depression for no family, for no friend, for no church members, not our not, not church brother, not sister. Don't devalue yourself for anyone. You know what God has called you to do. Do the will of God and not man. Love you guys with the love of the Lord. Heaven bless you. And I hope this message helps someone. Love you with the love of the Lord. Peace out.